Afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading, the 11th of May 2017, being Thursday. Okay, in terms of um, European markets, let's uh, certainly have a look and review. Apologies for the lengthy delay uh, in uh, uploading videos. I've been on holiday in Turkey and Cyprus, so certainly enjoying time off. Uh, back to normal now, back to daily videos. European markets twice daily and uh, US markets as well. Okay. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market stats, let's just have a look here. First of all, Asian markets overnight, more or less lackluster. The Nikkei up 0.3% uh, at 19, or should we say 19,960. Shanghai up 8 points, so uh, Hang Seng up 110. Let's see exactly where European markets are closed. Or our position, should we say, given the fact that the Shanghai index certainly has been hammered as of late. You can see at 445 down to 405 now. The next potential gap fill support is seen around 398, 400 and 395 levels subsequently. So bear that in mind. Now, we did have a potential bottoming tail put in today. So bear that, I'll uh, take that into consideration as well. Now, there are a lot of uncertainties, okay, especially with regards to Chinese deleveraging, etc. Okay, so certainly some cause of concern there. In terms of the Nikkei, let's bring up the Nikkei, given the fact that the USDJPY certainly has been screaming higher. Uh, looking at the Nikkei now, you are now coming into potential resistance. You've got a potential uh, gap level uh, here uh, at present, and horizontal resistance is seen as well. So a lot of resistance in this region on the, uh, the, the Nikkei itself. Now, you have left an unfilled gap behind as well, so bear that in mind. So multiple unfilled gaps behind certainly is a very unhealthy sign so you are looking for a potential reversal now we have had weaker earnings from uh, IP, uh, snap okay snap ipo down 25 percent post uh post uh, post ipo post uh, earnings release sorry okay so that certainly is a negative factor okay so bear that in mind also we have uh, bearish news from uber as well so again that's a potential bearish factor especially given the fact that uh, uh, revenue growth and uh, user our average re uh, revenue per user certainly is is certainly uh, declining as well and given the fact that uh, there's no real economies to scale which we say uh, barriers to entry with regards to snap uh, instagram certainly seems to be uh, overtaking that field so again from my perspective again let's not get into fundamentals too much but for now certainly looking at resistance in terms of asian markets European market closed. Let's just bring up the stats for Europe. FTSE closed more or less flat, even though we had weaker economic data today. Um, barrage of economic data from the, from the UK, certainly on the weaker side. Also, for my interpretation, Carney certainly sounded very hawkish. Okay, uh, industrial production, manufacturing production, your trade balance, uh, goods trade balance, everything came out on the weaker side. Okay, so from my perspective, in manufacturing production, industrial production, all on the weaker side and also the trade balance as well and drastically on the weaker side not just on the weaker side but drastically uh, MPC or MPV MPC vote again certainly one our individual arguing or uh, quite a few individuals arguing for potential rate hike uh, especially given the fact that uh, you've had a weaker sterling which obviously is triggering potential inflation down the road so again certainly in risk negative okay risk negative that's my interpretation thus far. Okay, so let's see exactly where we stand from a technical perspective of European indices. Let's start off with the German DAX. Now, we did have inflation numbers come out from uh, Portugal, I think it was. That certainly came in stronger than expected, also with regards to uh, Sweden as well. So that certainly exerts the pressure on uh, ECB now going forward. Uh, daily chart, at the moment, you've had a bearish engulfing candle. 60-minute chart, you're certainly putting a double top, and we certainly seem to be putting a potential bear flag formation, so watch out for this uh, formation here. This is something I'll be keeping an eye out for, for a potential H&S formation, folks. Okay, so with regards to European indices, you've got left shoulder here. Head, obviously, has gone in, and now we're looking for this right shoulder to play out. So if we do flush in the German DAX, you're certainly looking at some testing support down below at 12.590. So watch out for that with unfilled gap below as well. Unfill gap below is around 12.530, so that certainly comes into play as well. 10-minute chart, you're certainly into lower lows and lower highs. Again, like I said, you have that unfill gap below. Horizontal support here, then obviously the gap that needs to close. Okay, so let's see if we can actually close that gap. In terms of resistance on the uh, German DAX, certainly looking at resistance here on the 12.750 level. <clears throat> so watch for resistance there, folks. Okay, so again, diagonal trend line certainly coming into play. Also, another one here, 
take the pivot high from here, connect it across. Okay, so again, more resistance I've seen at 12,720, 12,740. So look for a risk aversion. That's my interpretation thus far. Okay, now in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's see exactly where we stand here. You can see here 10-minute chart, lower lows, lower highs, daily chart at the moment. Uh, again, a bearish engulfing, or not bearish engulfing, but certainly a bear flag formation here. So you're looking to play out and then obviously looking to flush on the downside, especially weaker earnings from several tech companies. So we'll see. 60 minute chart at the moment, no higher high. Certainly looks exhausted from my perspective. Certainly wants to close a gap below. Okay, certainly a bear flag formation now on the 60 minute chart. Lower lows, lower highs certainly seem to be the game in town. 10 minute chart again. Lower lows, lower highs. Okay, so look for lower lows, lower highs here. Previous resistance, previous support equals resistance. So looking for risk aversion. Okay. Okay, so looking for risk aversion in the French CAC too. Let's bring up the uh, FTSE 100 now. Okay, FTSE 100 holding resistance as you can see in the daily chart. Certainly looking for weakness here. 60 minute chart again holding resistance, breaking out the bullish channel, looking to break lower, looking to test that key support at 7360 and then back down below at 7330. So watch out for those two zones. 10 minute chart at the FTSE, you have solid resistance at 7390. I've just initiated a short position in the FTSE, so looking for a move lower on the FTSE 100 too. So keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, certainly looking uh, for buy a bearish price action. Now, in terms of Euro stocks, let's just bring up the Euro stocks here. Certainly flush lower today, daily chart at the moment. Uh, again, you still have the higher highs and higher lows intact. You do have an unfilled gap below, so watch chart below. 60 minute chart, you're certainly looking to potentially bounce here now. Any bounce. We look to encounter resistance at that uh, uh, 3630 zone, so let's watch out for that. And obviously, you've got 3650 above, so looking for a lower high, looking for, to fill the gap below at 3585. Uh, so, watch out for gap fill below at 3585. 10 minute chart, you still have a lower lows and lower highs, so previous support equals resistance. Okay, so again, looking at 3635 being solid resistance for the euro stocks uh, 50. So, again, looking for bias, uh, bearish arguments. And looking for a move lower. Okay, I think that really does sum up the European indices. Uh, okay, again, you have oil into resistance as well. Watch out for oil. Certainly looking at resistance here on oil now. Okay, let me just bring up a chart for you 60 minutes. Certainly looking at uh, resistance here on the chart of oil. Previous support equals resistance. So watch out for that zone at 48. We certainly had an impressive bounce from that low at 43. Okay, so certainly from 43 to 48, five dollar move. And now we're looking for a reversal, so watch out below. Okay, I think that really does sum up uh, the uh, the actual market now. Uh, be sure to uh, look for further weakness now. And European indices certainly showing cracks, from my interpretation and understanding, especially given the fact that the UK data today was exceptionally weak. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.